In this lecture, we will set the basics for an understanding of multimodal communication between humans and multimodal interaction between humans and machines. We'll start with clarifying the basic principles of human-human communication and human-machine interaction. We will then describe the processes taking place inside humans when perceiving auditory, visual or tactile signals and how these perceptions are integrated in order to form one multimodal percept. The signals can be generated and received by machines which are able to interact with humans in limited domains. The setup of such machines will be discussed and limitations as well as potential solutions in order to overcome these limitations will be explained. This course consists of two parts, the fundamentals part and an applications part. In the first part, we first address the terms multimedia and multimodality. What are the differences and how can different modalities be fruitfully used in communication and interaction? We then address the human senses. We start with a chapter on hearing and speech production processes, then continue with a chapter on visual perception and gestalt perception, and then have a chapter on other senses, how they can be integrated together with cognition in order to form multimodal percepts. This first part finishes with two chapters, one on multimodal perception in human interaction, as well as uh, one on human multimodal interaction using nonverbal signals mostly. In the second part of the course, we address technical systems. We start with a chapter on multimodal input systems that are systems which are able to make sense out of signals which come with different modalities. Then a chapter on out multimodal output systems that are systems which are able to generate signals which can then be perceived by humans using different perceptual senses. And then a chapter on multimodal interactive systems where we describe the architecture as well as processes which are used in order to build such systems. Finally, in an Outlook chapter, we address virtual as well as augmented environments, how they can be set up and what the differences are.